Hello! So this video is going to be a bit unusual for my um, already there subscribers because I'm gonna do this video in English. I want to try something new. I think that I can reach more people in English. But I guess we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. It's not my first language, so excuse my grammar or something if I say something wrong. I'm sorry. I speak German. I'm Croatian, actually. So Croatian is my first language, then German, because I, I was born and raised in Switzerland. And yeah, so I have the most exciting thing here. In front of me, it's the Melt Cosmetics Beetlejuice Collection! Ah! Oh my god, I'm so, so, so freaking excited! Um, I love Melt Cosmetics, first of all. I love this brand. I own almost everything of this brand. I've been one of their first customers, I'm sure, because um, when they launched their lipsticks, I had all of them. I had all the stacks, I had everything that followed, so um, yeah. There was a pre-sale on Friday the 13th and I grabbed a PR box uh, of the Beetlejuice collection. So I'm not sure how to show you this box. I'm sure you have seen this online already. It's so beautiful. It's oh my god. <laughs> I can't. And it's actually asymmetrical. So um, yeah, I can't show you this on my camera. Ugh. And it's so heavy. Whew. Okay, uh, let's show you the inside. It's the most beautiful thing I have seen in a in a long time, if not ever. I actually bought their Amor Eterno collection from last year and I already thought that this was the most beautiful collection ever. I love their eyeshadows, I love the liners, I love the lipsticks, I love the brushes. Ugh, it was so great. But guys, this collection might be even better. Here is the inside of the box. And ugh, these are actually multiple layers. It's not, it's not one, uh, one picture. Do you know what I mean? And here's the inside of the box. Oh my God. Ugh. We have the biggest collection from Mel Cosmetics here. So I'll show you the products in detail afterwards. And we have a drawer here at the bottom and when you open this up I'm gonna fall off this chair um, here we have this vegan leather pouch with their new brushes and the mirror Ugh. I can't I can't this box was very safely packaged um, and it arrived very quickly. I paid for express shipping and it arrived with UPS and I was so excited to hold it in my hands. That day when, it, when I knew that it will arrive, I can't tell you how I felt. I just wanted to finish work and come home and play. And now I even had to wait two days to play with this because it's my, it's my day off today. So um, yeah, I can film this video now. And I wanted to show you the products in their original state without me uh, ruining the products. <laughs> okay, let me start with their eyeshadow palettes. First, we have the recently diseased palette and look at this packaging. And here is the recently diseased palette. And how pretty is that? How amazing. I mean, oh, oh I can't. 
And when you open this up, you get a um, sheet with uh, one of the scenes of the movie. And here is the palette. Oh, wow. This palette contains eight eyeshadows. We have greens, like lime greens on the top and we have purples on the bottom. Um, both are quite difficult to make, but I'm sure that Melt has the best quality of all of them. And next we have the waiting room palette and this is the packaging of the waiting room palette. And oh, again, the details, let me show you the inside. Is this what happens when you die? I can't. How stunning is that? And here you also get a sheet with a scene of the movie. And here is the inside of the waiting room palette. And to be honest, if you know me, you know how much I love color. I love bright shades. I'm not scared to wear brights. But when I saw this palette, oh my god, I actually screamed. It's so pretty. This speaks to me. This is speaking to me. I look at <laughs> I look at this palette and it speaks to me. Like you don't understand. It speaks to me. Um, this palette contains 10 eyeshadows and we have burgundies, reds and coppers on the upper row and greys, gunmetals here in this row. Next we have two ultra matte gel liners. We have a gel liner in the shade Afterlife and it's this stunning light green shade. And I love their eyeliners. I have all of them, all of those that they released before. And they are very creamy, very pigmented, very easy to apply. And here we have 125 years. And this is a gray, a light gray shade. And the packaging again, it says beetle juice and has a skull here around it. And it says melt on the top as their other liners do. And we have one pigment paint and this is in the shade Utterly Alone. And it's a purple shade with a very nice metallic, metallic uh, reflect or how do you say that? It's very very pretty. Next we have a product that's completely new to Melt Cosmetics. They have launched a mascara and again the packaging is so stunning. Oh my god it's called Supernatural Natural Lash Mascara in Ultra Black. It's very weighty and feels very nice in your hand. Stunning. Um, and then we have a lash curler here also in a metallic red shade and it sells, says Melt loves Beetlejuice and that's so cute here on the top. Love it. Okay, next we have uh, their Electrip lip paints and here is the shade Strange and Unusual. It's a reddish pink shade. It's also very pretty, love it. And then we have, it's showtime and this is my favorite. I saw Dana wear this shade and Michelle from Melt Cosmetics and oh my God, it's so, so beautiful. Love this. And then we have Weirder and Weirder. It's a black base with purple, Reflex, also very pretty. And this is a liquid lipstick, but it has a, 
it has this metallic metallic flip shine and it's supposed to be a lip stain so when the when the shimmer wears off it will leave a stain on your lips and i actually tried these on my hand and oh my god i you can still see a little bit of that stain and as i said i received this package on wednesday and it's still here and next we have their bullet lipsticks and how nice does this look look at this pretty packaging i know i i sound so hyped but i am i'm sorry i am okay okay um, here we have an iridescent lipstick in Calypso and again we have the sandworm here imprinted in a lipstick. I hope that you can see that. It's so 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 beautiful. Love this. Next we have Ghost with the Most. And this is a olive green shade. Love it. I mean, I haven't worn a green in a long time, but I will change that. This is so beautiful. And last but not least, we have Miss Argentina. And this is a beautiful, beautiful red shade. It's quite a bright, quite a bright red shade. Okay, now let's go to the non makeup y products. And here we have this uh, bag. Here's the inside, and we have a zipper here on top. And you will get your brushes here. Let me show you the brushes. Okay, here we have the brushes. These are five brushes. And they're half white, half black. And they look so beautiful. Oh my god. And the handles and the quality seems to be very, very nice. These are vegan brushes. Last but not least, we have a mirror. And it looks like this. It's also very weighty and um, very beautiful, actually. It's a bit more... Is it? I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. But I already have a mirror from Melt Cosmetics. It's the one from the um, the blush collection. How are these called? From the Digital Dust Duo blushes. I'm wearing one today. It's in Buzz Kill. Um, yeah, so I love this and I'm sure I will love this too. Okay, okay. We will put this palette aside. It's, it's amazing. But I will do an, an, another video uh, where I use this. So um, I want to create something inspired by Laura's look. It was uh, the red eyeshadows and the green lipstick. Let's see. I don't know. I haven't worn a green lipstick in a long time, so I want to try that again. And now let's start with a eyeshadow base and I'm going to use my P. Louise base in Rumor 0.5. I'm going to go in with my smaller, like a small detailing fluffy brush. I don't know what, is, what it is called. I don't see a number or anything and I'm gonna go into the shade Obituary here it's that um, wine wine red shade I'm so freaking excited to use this now okay high pigment but I mean that doesn't surprise me. This almost looks purple on my eyes. And I'm here for it. Mm. 
I'm really concentrating this shade in the crease and on the outer corner of my eye. Now I'm going in with a clean brush to blend this out a little bit. I'm gonna do this on the other side now. Guys, I have zero, zero fallout with this, which is a major, major plus. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the same brush in this shade here called No Exit. It's a little bit darker than the shade we applied first. And we're going to deepen the, um, the crease. And this shade again has no fallout. Oh gosh, I love this. These shades layer perfectly well on top of each other. Which shade do I take next? Oh, look at these swatches. Look how beautifully pigmented these eyeshadows are. Oh, I don't know what to do. What should I do? Which eyeshadow should I take? Oh. I think I'm gonna go in with Sword Girl. This is this berry toned shade here. And I'm gonna pat this on with my finger over the entire lid. Oh my god. Wow. Look how pigmented. I want to layer the shade Lydia on top just because I love this red shade. It's like a rusty red. And yeah, let's see how this works. Yep, this is it. This is what I wanted. I wanted a bit more red. And less purpley. Now I will take just a tiny bit of Juno and Juno is a chunkier metallic formula and stamping Juno on the inside. I'm gonna put obituary and no exit onto my lower lash line. Now I want to deepen this look even more and I'm gonna take Charmin here, it's the black shade, and I'm gonna deepen the outer corners with this. Oh, this is a very pigmented and deep red, uh, not red, black. Very deep and pigmented. I'm now deepening my upper lash line with Immortal Ultra Gel Eyeliner. I mean not my lash line, I mean my waterline. Okay, now let's apply the, uh, the Afterlife Ultra Matte Gel Liner on my lower lash line. Oh, it's very nice. Love how this looks.
Okay, perfect. I'm liking this a lot. Let's put on mascara now. Um, of course, I'm taking the Beetlejuice mascara. And it has a um, hourglass shape wand. So next I'm gonna apply my false lashes. I'm using the Tati lashes. What are they called? I'm not sure. I just know that these are the Jamie Genevieve lashes. I'm gonna apply these now. I think that I'm gonna take this lipstick in Ghost with the Most or, or maybe this lipstick. Oh, you know what? I'm taking the Electric Lip Paint in the shade. It's showtime. Oh. How pretty is that? The lips are... I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. The more this lip paint dries down, the prettier it gets and the more glittery and shimmery and electric it gets. It's so pretty. I love how this look turned out. It's intense, but I live for this. And I really want to try the other palette too. So I'm sure I will film another video using this Beetlejuice collection. But for now, I have to say, wow, 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 wow. This is stunning. Okay, let me swatch maybe the other lip stuff. Um, here we have Strange and Unusual Electric Lip Paint. Look at this, it's so pigmented and it's so pretty. And then we have Weirder and Weirder. See? So pigmented, oh my god. How pigmented is this? So pretty. And let me show you Ghost with the most. This olive shade here. Here we have Calypso, the iridescent lipstick. And then last but not least, Miss Argentina. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is pretty. Look at that. How pretty is this shade? I can't, I can't. Okay. Let me feel some of the shades from the recently diseased palette. Paranormal, wow. Whoa. Neurotic. Little accident, recently diseased. How gorgeous, how gorgeous. Guys, I'm totally obsessed and I'm not saying this because I love Melt Cosmetics, obviously I adore them, but this collection is so, there are so many details that they thought of, um, the colors are, so pretty, um, different color stories. I mean, purple and green together is like the ultimate combination. Um, gunmetal shade, shades with reddish, burgundy, wine colors, perfect together. The lipsticks, I mean, I mean, look at this. They're so creative. Everything is so nice. I loved the mascara and I love the brushes. I don't know what to say. I mean, 
I have nothing negative to say. Okay, maybe I'm not used to wearing uh, liquid lipsticks anymore. I There was a time where I only used liquid lipsticks, but I left those, those days in, I don't know what it was, 2014, 15? I don't know. And now it is maybe a bit too drying for me, but I will wear this because look at this. I have never seen something like this before. I even had those Ciate glitter uh, liquid lipsticks where you rub your lips together and you get the glittery effect, but it's nothing like this. It's not even, it's not even just metallic. It's okay. Love the eyeshadows, love the look I created. I hope you like it too. Um, and yeah, love me some Beetlejuice and love me some Melt. And this is the best combination ever. So if you have any questions or requests for me to film um, different looks, maybe you have pictures, inspira inspirations, I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments and I would love if you would subscribe. I think I will switch my videos to English. If you don't mind, I'm asking my dear subscribers, if you don't mind, I would love to switch to English because, yeah, I think that we can reach more people, you know. So, yeah, guys, I... Um, Love this, love, love, love this, and I can totally rec recommend everything I have tried, and yeah, soon, soon, it will launch very soon, so yeah, I wish you all a wonderful day, and see you soon, bye!